also be taken, extracted out of the body. Again, I want to remind you, this is unseen. Talking about unseen must be supported by evidence of the knower of the unseen or revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Quran and Hadith, authentic Hadith. Brothers and sisters in Islam, whatever we are saying today comes from two Hadith. One of them, Hadith Al-Bara ibn Azib, radiyallahu an, and the Hadith in Mustadrak al-Hakim, and the Hadith was authenticated by the majority, or not almost, most of the uh, scholars of Hadith, Hadith that meets the requirement of Imam Muslim, Hadith is Sahih, and the second Hadith is basically a mix between Ibn Majah, Ibn Hibban, and Sunan al-Nasai, the wording are from, the three, from these three books, and the narrator of this hadith is Hadith Abi Huraira radiallahu anhu. Are you ready? Let's talk about how the soul of a disbeliever, of a disobedient, is taken out of his body. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, وَلَوْ تَرَى إِذْ يَتَوَفَّ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَضْرِبُونَ وُجُوهَهُمْ وَأَدْبَارَهُمْ وَذُوقُوا عَذَابَ الْحَرِيقِ ذَلِكَ بِمَا قَدَّمَتْ أَيْدِيكُمْ وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ لَيْسَ بِظَلَّامٍ لِلْعَبِيدِ If you would just see how the angels of punishment are taken, extracting away out the soul of a kafir, beating him from the front and the back. Why is that? Why they do this? وَلَوْ تَرَى إِذِ الظَّالِمُونَ فِي غَمَرَاتِ الْمَوْتِ If you would just see, if you would just see the transgressors, the wrongdoers, going through the agonies, the moments of death, the process of death, وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ بَاصِطُوا أَيْدِيهِمْ And the angels are extending their hands as they أَكْرِجُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ Deliver your souls. Deliver your souls. Here is the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explains this scene for you. إِنَّ الْعَبْدَ الْكَافِرِ The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that a disbeliever, the wording of Abi Hurairah, a disobedient of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. A disobedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If he is about to leave this dunya and about to join, embark on the journey to the hereafter that starts with death, Nazala ilayhi malaikatum min as Again, angels. From the heaven will descend to that person. But remember, while we were talking about the believer, look at the qualities of these angels who are the assistants to the angel of death. This time they are not angels of mercy. They are angels of punishment. The angels of mercy, their faces were white, bright, like the sun, good looking. They have shroud from Jannah. They have empolment or odor from Jannah. Look at the angels of punishment. The angels who come to take the soul of a kafir. غِلَاظٌ shidad, Stern. They look so prudent. They look so tough. They come and their faces are dark and they sit in front of the deceased as far as his sight reaches. They bring with them Hanuk. They bring with them Masuh, fabrics. A fabric from the hellfire. A shroud that they bring from the hellfire. The, 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 the shroud that they will shroud the soul with, with is made from the hellfire. And they will sit in front of the deceased as far as his eyesight reaches. عَفَانَ اللَّهُ وَإِيَّاكُمْ May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spare us, spare us from this. Brothers and sisters in Islam, 
when the zero second is here the angel of death will proceed and he will sit right by the head of that deceased and look how will how will how will he call his soul out of his body he will tell him ayyatuha nafsul khabitha O oh, malicious soul, أُخْرُجِي إِلَىٰ سَخَطٍ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَغَضَبْ Come out to the anger, to the wrath of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ya Allah, this person, brothers and sisters in Islam, he did not purify that soul. He did not purify his soul. He neglected his soul. You see, we are entrusted with our souls. And that is why you always see that word in the Quran, do not wrong yourselves. If you do not follow the guidance that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down for you, this guidance was meant to purify your soul, turns it into a soul that is rested, Pure. The salah purifies your soul. The zakah purifies your soul. The fasting purifies your soul. The hajj purifies your soul. Enjoining good, forbidding evil, purifying your souls. Being kind to your fathers and mother, having a good manner puri purifies your souls. But we neglected all of this. We turned our back to all of this. And this resulted in having malicious souls. Because I tell you something, if you do not force the agenda, the curriculum that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brought down for your soul to be purified with, your soul has an agenda which is seeking the pleasures of this world. Then it becomes, إِنَّ النَّفْسَ لَأَمَّارَةٌ بِالسُّوءٍ it becomes a soul that is inclined to evil because the person neglected the purification of that soul. The person did not introduce the curriculum, the Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet to 